Can I buy the house before the probate process is completely done? Great question, Jeff. Yes, you can. Let's talk about the timing of the probate. So as soon as he gets appointed by the probate court, and I'm showing that hat sliding on is Mr. Estate being appointed by the probate court. At this time, he has the authority to sell the assets in the estate. That means, so if he sells the house, then he'll have cash, which he'll report as an asset of the estate. So great question, Jeff. And that's something that I emphasize a lot to the investors, it's how long it takes until they have the authority to sell the property. In Arizona, it takes us about uh, six to eight weeks in total to get someone the authority to sell the property. So once someone hires us for the probate, it takes us about three to four weeks to prepare what we call the first wave of paperwork, everything that we need to file to open the probate. And then it sits at court for another three to six weeks until the judge stamps it and approves it. After he approves it, that's when the personal representative is appointed. And that process, what I'm describing, that's what's called an informal probate. That means that no one's challenging, uh, everyone agrees to it, and we have the original will to file. If we don't have the original will, then we have to go what's called a formal probate. We have to request a hearing and show, um, you know, give everyone notice. And then if we have a copy of the will that we're trying to admit or something else, uh, we have a hearing and the judge decides whether to probate the copy of the will or how to proceed. Can the bank attorney intervene? I had one complicated deal. Yeah, bank attorneys, now there's the law and then there's bank policy. So I fight with banks all the time. I tell them what the law is and they tell me what their policy is. I, I don't know why the, the bank attorney would be involved unless there was um, foreclosure going on. That would give the bank some rights, possibly. But usually, uh, the bank attorney doesn't deal with it. It's a personal representative of the estate gets appointed, and then they have a duty to liquidate the assets of the estate. It takes a while. It, the whole process is just lengthy. Average time is probably, I don't know, about nine months, I would guess. Yeah, the average is. In Arizona, there's, there's built-in waiting period. So after we get the, the personal representative appointed, you have to post in the newspaper to give any creditors notice and then wait for four months. So regardless, so it takes, I said the first six to eight weeks to get the personal representative appointed. As soon as they're appointed, then we'll file in the newspaper, start the four month period. So it could be as quick as um, you know, maybe five months, but it's usually around nine months or so to wrap up the whole thing.